welcome back to today's coding tutorial video. Today, I was asked to make a video on how you can add bstats to your plugin. So that's exactly what we're going to do. To start off, you're going to have to go to bstats.org, all one word, and you're going to register an account by going up to the account, press register for me, I'm going to log into the account I'm already on, and then you're just going to redirect back to this main area right here. In the background, I have our tutorial plugin updated. You can see the layout of IntelliJ is a little different. I just updated to the new 2019.2 build that came out about a week ago by the time you're seeing this video, but I decided to upgrade to it. It looks pretty nice. It's going to take a little getting used to with the new top bar and everything, but it, it, overall it looks pretty nice. So let's get back to what we were doing. We're going to go here. Um, we have BStats pl uh, plugin metrics made with love. Um, so pretty much all you have to do is click get started. So, it's going to say BStats is a free and open source website that helps you collect data for your um, plugin, pretty much. Uh, you can you can have d uh, custom graphs and all that. So, there's two things that we need. We're going to press include metrics, which we're going to use in a minute, but we're just going to leave that alone for a second. We're going to press add plugin. Then we're going to select our server software. In our case, it's going to be either bucket to spigot, bucket cord sponge. We're doing a bucket and spigot plugin. And we're going to put our plugin name. This plugin name has to be what it is in the plugin.yml file of your um, plugin. So we're going to take test one or tutorial one. We're going to press I'm not a robot and press add plugin. You have successfully added your plugin. Now you have to add bstats to your plugin. So there's two things you can do. You can either use Maven to trade in um, bstats into your plugin. Or you can use your default manual to copy your metrics class. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to manually copy the metrics class. The reason for this is because it may be easier for beginners to not use Maven for this class. So you have your standard version, you have your light version. The standard version allows you to add custom graphs. But since we technically in this series are going with the easy route um, and learning how to do stuff, we're going to start with the metrics light version for Spigot and Mungie Cord. So this is going to redirect you to a github where you can see it's just a class here and that's pretty much it so here's what we're going to do we're going to create a class inside of our thing we're just going to put it in our main area right now we're going to press java class and we're going to call it it's going to be a class and its name is going to be metrics light just like that i'm going to create that class i'm going to add it to our thing that's all you got to do now you're going to come up here why we'll see what just copy this copy this entire thing don't include the package but keep it, all the imports and everything else so your your name of your um, class is going to change here and I'll show you what we're going to do with that copy this in just get rid of that place it down so you can see there's going to be an error up here because it says public class metric lights because I named it with a lowercase so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click here refractor rename file and we're going to name it metrics light but capitalized metrics light then you can see the error goes away the class is perfectly fine here and everything is working well there's only one other thing we have to do so the last thing we have to do is we have to go to our main class and we're going to register this as a manager the reason for this is well it has to load <laughs> that's the main thing so we're going to get our class name it's going to be metrics light so metrics light metrics we'll call it metrics i can't spell equals new metrics light and put this in between there just like that your metrics is set up and working yeah you did it that's all you have to do now you're gonna go ahead and download this build your project and we're gonna throw it into our plugins folder here after it completes its building I didn't mean to join that server um so once it completes you can see it's completed down here in the bottom right. We're going to copy that over here. We're going to replace it. We're going to start up our server. We're going to start up our server here. It's going to load up just like normal, but we're going to take a little look in the plugins folder. You can see there's going to be a new folder that's going to pop up in a minute called bstats. So when our plugins enabled, a folder called bstats will open. Our plugin created this build, this uh, bstats. What this is going to say is, is, should it be enabled? What's your server UID, log file request, log sent data, etc. Now, users are free to come into the bstats configure file and turn off enabled, and then they won't be able to send data to the website. So they're free to do that. 
But if you are, if you just start just downloading and installing the plugin, most people leave it on to support developers and leave metrics on and working. So we are in our server. There's nothing else you need to do. You have successfully enabled metrics. Now let's talk a little about when you can start seeing data on your um, plugin. So you go back to the account, you press my plugins, and you're going to find the plugin in the entire list. In my case, I'm putting tutorial one. So it's going to say loading. Right now, tutorial one by noodles is zero out of zero, player zero out of zero. The reason for this is it th there's a limit in the API request to BSTAT. So it's going to um, reload every about 25 minutes. Um, not all servers will show up right away. Some servers take longer than others. Um, it's pretty random. So let me give you a little example. If I go back here and go to my plugins and press light bands UI, you can see it, it does show up, but it takes a minute depending on the servers. You can see 200, 203 servers are currently active running it with over 139 players on them. Uh, so this is what the data you get from it. So let's give if the server is offline or if it's online, what Minecraft version they're using. So you can see the majority is either using 1.8 or 1.12. The plugin version. So right now most people are using version 3.1, but some people are still using like the original 0.16. Three servers are using my original plugin. That's really weird. Then you can see how many cores the server has. What operating system? Linux is 90% of the way. The system arc, so where they, um, what type of system is it x86 or AMD64, which is the default. The Java version, Java 8, there's only one, two people using Java 10. The server location, United States, Canada, France, and there's like 300,000 people in here. And you can highlight them over here as well. So it's a very high powered chart thing. You can add your custom charts if you go ahead and use the full metrics class, not metric lights. If you want a tutorial on how to add custom charts, please let me know by leaving a comment in the video just comment section below. Um, I will be back in the next video tomorrow, but before we do, remember to go ahead and push your changes to GitHub. We're going to say added metrics or something. Added metrics. Added metrics to our thing. We're going to commit and put these changes to our GitHub, which we set up in episode one to make sure all our changes are saved. Push. And it has successfully pushed to our database and our changes are saved remotely and locally. If you have questions, again, join our Discord server or leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to respond to them soon. I'll see you in tomorrow's video where we're doing something. See you tomorrow.